Welcome back to the channel everybody. I am so excited for the video today and that is not me just being a hype boy. I'm super excited to check out this knife. Uh, we have another knife from Odin Wolf and if you can tell it's not as big as the last ones that we sent so I'm super stoked to check it out. Let's get into it. Okay, so I always love checking out these knives from them. You you really just never know what to expect from Odin Wolf. So this is called the W Picnic. And we know that the previous knives they sent me have been massive chunks of D2. Uh, I have gone ahead and pulled this guy up on the website because I, you know... When I get emails from these guys and they, they tell me they're going to send me some new knives, I always want to get on the website and just kind of see what they're sending because, like I said, you just you never know what they're going to send in. And that's that's one of the, the fun things with Odin Wolf is they always send in some really, really cool stuff. <laughs> and their fixed blades are always giant chunks of D2, and it's always just so satisfying to hold in your hand. It really, really is. I love them. Um, so here we go. Uh, I'm glad that Odin Wolf includes the little pa the little pamphlets inside these little boxes too, um, because that that's one of the nicest things I think about Odin Wolf. You know, other than their products are actually really really nice. I have had zero quality control issues with any of the knives they've sent me so far, and um, they their packaging is always pretty pretty spot on and. Uh, they always send in those nice little orange card holders with the the bigger blades that they send in. And those are always super, super nice because it's like tips on maintaining your knives and um, just just a bunch of useful information. So we can see here, this is definitely, this is a folder. This is a lot different than, uh, you know, what, what I've received from them in the past. And everything feels nice and smooth. Very, very good. So far, so far, I am very happy. And um, this guy, I can go ahead and tell you that this is going to be a serrated edge before we even open this. It is 420 steel. And let's go ahead. Oh. <laughs> let's take a look at this. Man, Odin Wolf, really, whenever they make a knife, man, they really just want you to look at it and go, dang. <laughs> every with just about every knife I get from them, that's my first at first first expression is I just go like, dang. <laughs> that's not exactly the word I say though. <laughs> We're just keeping it keeping it PG for the channel. Yeah, this thing it's so light too. It feels so good. Um, very very light, very ergonomic. I can go ahead and tell you that. Obviously, you do not have a choke up spot. But it looks like we do have a little bit of a choil here. So if you are proficient at uh, sharpening some serrated edges, I am not so much proficient at it. But this will be nice. This will be nice to learn on. So we can see my model here is the black stone wash. So this this particular knife actually comes with a satin blade as well, which looks really, really, really good. Um, and then they have like an OD green, which I think they have labeled as an olive black that will also come with, you know, you can do it either the satin or the black finish on the blade. Uh, I'm not a hundred percent certain. Maybe, maybe the guys over at Odenwood, Olden Wolf could, uh, clarify for me. I'm not too a hundred percent sure. Let me grab something to wipe off this blade. Um, if this is like a DLC coating or, you know, is it? I wouldn't, I wouldn't think it's Cerakoted. Uh, it could be though. It could be though. The finish, the finish looks good. Let's see here. Let's see if we can get, let's see if we can get up close and personal. Let me put that away. There we go. See if we can get, yeah, see the finish, the finish is good. Smooth. It's actually a little grippy. Just, just a hair, just a hair. You, you don't. You don't really slide across it like you would on something like, um, you know, just a satin blade or like a stone wash finish. So it's got a little bit of a grip to it. That might be like a DLC coating. 
I don't know. Maybe um maybe I'll talk to maybe I'll talk to my guy over there at Odin Wolf and see if he can see if he can clear it up for me. So we do have a liner lock. A lot of retention on the liner lock, but we can see there we have plenty of access to get to it. So I'm very, very happy about that. Thank you guys for, for pulling that one off for us. That's always one of my main concerns whenever I look at stuff like liner locks is not having plenty of access to that lock bar. So uh, excellent job there. We can see that we are <laughs> we are not open on the back, and that is also awesome too. Um, I'm a big fan of that because we are not going to get the body of this knife full of junk, like full of garbage. Look at that, all the way around. And then it just kind of nests in there all nice and neatly. So let's do let's do the normal here. Um, let's see how. Now remember that if you're interested in checking any of this stuff out and you would like to support the channel, I will have links in the description of this video down below and pretty much every other video. I try to keep them in every video uh, of where you can go check these guys out, you know, and then you can, if you use my links, you support my channel, you support Odin Wolf, and uh, everybody's happy. It just helps me to make, you know, content and um, it helps them to continue doing what they're doing. And they're doing good things, I promise. So we are at five inches. Fully closed. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's see how big of a knife here we got. And nine inches. And we've got, what is that? Just exactly four inches of blade. And pretty much exactly four inches of cutting edge. This is a big this is a big knife, but here, let me let me go ahead and let me go ahead and surprise you real fast. This is this is what this is what I would, you know, normally I save doing this for the, the actual review videos, but this is what's going to surprise you. Yeah. 1.6 ounces on a nine inch knife. <laughs> this thing is light, man. It's uh, it's, it is, it is extremely light. And like I said, we've got 420 steel. We've got a liner lock. We've got a fully serrated edge. This is going to be a worker's knife. Um, and some people are going to like serration. Some people don't. It's, uh, you know, it's the name of the game. This is a really mean butter knife. This is what it looks like. <laughs> if I took this away and I set it next to a butter knife, it's, it looks kind of got that butter knife shape to it, but we've got really, really sharp serra serrations on here. You don't have a cutting tip on the end. That's what kind of gives it that butter knife effect, but I promise it doesn't, it does not. In your hand, it doesn't look or feel like a butter knife. It, it does feel like a worker a work knife. This is something that I think you would throw in a bag. And, uh, you know, you could throw in a pocket. It would have been nice to have seen a pocket clip on this. But um, it is something you can throw in your pocket. And if you're going out, you know, to work in the yard or if you're going anywhere, you, and you take this with you and you got to cut something, it'll do it. It'll do it. This is definitely going to be a worker's knife. Um, let me grab... Where is... Um, oh, oh, right here, right here. There we go. Let's see if we can see anything that's going on in here. Everything looks nice, man. I don't see, I don't see anything. I was just wondering if I could find any kind of imperfections down there. Nope. Nope, I don't see any. Odin Wolf, I, I gotta say, they've they as far as quality control goes, they've been great, and um, I, I've been I've been super super happy with them. I've got I've got several Odin Wolfs now, and uh, I'm about ready to actually start going out and doing the full reviews. Um, I wanted to get a couple in hand before I started doing the full reviews because Odin Wolf makes a lot of like hard use working knives and you know what what am I gonna am I gonna grab like one of those buoys or machetes and cut paper with it <laughs> no we're gonna go outside we're gonna cut watermelons we're gonna cut ropes we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go like um, knife or death style or uh, you know forged in fire we're we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna kind of go a little over the top now right off the bat the I might need to just hit it with just a tad of oil. We can see we don't have adjustable pivots here. Um, it is a little stiff opening and closing. It feels, it kind of feels like a lockback, 
but I can feel it getting smoother and smoother as I as I open and close this. So I'm gonna guess this guy just has a little bit of a breaking period to go through. Um, but it is it is kind of wearing itself in as I'm sitting here and using it. The first couple folds and unfolds were a little rough, but now it's already it's breaking in super smooth. So this is actually one of my one of my first um, experiences with the Odin Wolf folders, and I'm definitely not let down. I'm glad that we have you know as good a quality on the folders as we do from the fixed blades on Odin Wolf. So, I mean, listen to this here. I'll, I'll lock it back and you can just hear it snap into place. It, it sounds like a slip joint, <laughs> like an angry slip joint. Yeah, just that click into place is so good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm super excited to actually, uh, you know, do some work with this in the yard. Uh, this guy's going to get put to work. Um, once again, any of the Odin Wolf guys, if you you know, happen to take a look at this video. If you wouldn't mind dropping a comment down below, um, what is the coating that we have on these blades? Uh, I know I've got a few Odin Wolfs by now and uh, pretty much all of them are, you know, they have this black coating on the blade. Um, I just, I don't recall seeing what the coating is anywhere on the website. So I'm just curious. I would just, just like to know people, people ask, they want, you know, they want to know. So that's, uh, that's, that's about the only question I have so far, other than how's it going to perform? And we will find out very, very soon. So let's go ahead and wrap up this unboxing video. And remember that we will have a full review to come with comparisons and all that good stuff and size if you want to see it next to things like, you know, the MSI and PM2 and all that good stuff. So keep an eye out for that. That will probably be this week or next. Um, I usually like to get those out within, within a couple weeks from carrying. So we'll... I'll, I'll keep you updated on that. Guys, thank you so much for stopping by, checking out the video, checking out the channel. I greatly appreciate it. I definitely could not do this without you. You can see my reflection on the serrations there because while I'm talking, I am talking with my hands, even though you can't see me. So, yeah, there's that. Probably look crazy if someone saw me through the window. <laughs> thank you guys again for so much for stopping by, checking out the video. I'll catch you on the next one.